Hey, welcome back to Daisy Solo Wanderer. This is episode number 28. Well, last time we played, um, we cooked some wolf meat and an out of the way cabin, and we were preparing to start tearing up the tier 4 towns. Um, I've not been putting out episodes as frequently. Because uh, I have not been playing as frequently. We get... That's north. East. South. Okay. And there's been a couple reasons for that. Um, one. When I started this series. I... Oh, okay. I remember where I'm at now. I'm not accustomed to surviving this long. Any one of these player encounters that I hit on in this series uh, should have killed me. And like normal, even Jack Daisy play playthrough. And uh, well, we lucked out one time, and then I think we actually kind of used some of our skill to overcome good situation and um, yeah so when, I guess when I started Solo Wonder my, my idea was to offer some vanilla gameplay show people that you don't necessarily have to enjoy the game uh, the way you see a lot of the popular content creators do on um, on YouTube and Twitch and all and um, you know, just get out there and have your own adventure. Like, you don't... You don't need to be getting all aggro all the time and... Know where everything is and just come out here and run your own adventure. And the game is great for that. Um, but one thing that I did not... Anticipate living this long... And getting to a point where I'm pushing up against a wipe and needing to figure out a way to wrap this up in a way to where it acknowledges that I have got people watching my adventure and invested in my adventure because I honestly didn't expect that. Um, the feedback that I have had and the, uh, the momentum I've kind of gotten behind this series has been insane and wholly unexpected so it was kind of putting me in a position where you know on a, on a normal jack playing day Z um, where this loaded out the wipes coming I probably just wouldn't play until the wipe again you know or uh, start up another you know run on do do a different run, you, you know, because I'm just not used to having all this gear really and still being alive, not really knowing what to do with it. And at the end of the day, I'm not really a. I play these games for the PvP dynamic and the added danger and excitement and every all the emotions that come along with that because I, I feel like some of those emotions and intensity levels of those emotions are um, the part of the very unique um, I don't want those type of gameplay a game like Daisy offers you and for somebody that's been gaming for a very very long time um, getting some of these emotions and these quantities and it's just a novel experience so but I also don't go out and really look for it I'm not super interested like I would be totally okay um, if people were less apt to kill on site further inland um, 
I think it would be awesome. Uh, but I also think that that's what kind of gives the secret sauce. And just playing a PvE server for me, it doesn't make me excited. I feel like a part of the the lack of the threat of getting killed on site or getting killed when you didn't see anyone is um, is the special sauce for the game, you know, which I think I just said in a different way. Um, so I think I started feeling a lot of pressure. Um, server populations on this server are kind of falling off when I'm, when I'm able to play. And I wasn't wanting to log in when there was, you know, 10 people on. Because the chance of me running through a dangerous area and not seeing anybody, I kind of felt like it was not within... Not in the spirit that I like to play these games. And kind of chatted about that when we were in the woods on the way to Tizzy a little bit. So... Um, I'm in kind of a completely new zone here to where I'm like, well, shit, I'm in the middle of the series. I want there to be an end to the series. The series hasn't ended how I thought it would. And I need it to be over within a set amount of time. Uh, you know, what are you going to do? Kind of come up with a couple ideas of to run me through high PvP areas. And more or less just attempt to get us in... How will I make the series exciting? How do I give the series an exciting end was something I was really struggling with with the, you know, lower server pops and not really knowing what to do um, at this point and then being worried, well, what if, um, what if you make it all the way through there, you know, and you don't have the excited option, like what is it for, you know, and so you start I started feeling uh, more pressure about the content of the series than I would typically feel. Um, and I think a lot of the reason people started gravitating towards this series is because I probably was not putting out uh, a certain type of exciting content and run and gun style that I don't necessarily gravitate towards, and um, I think I've found a contingent of the player base that don't necessarily gravitate, to, gravitate towards it either. And um, so it just kind of hit me that I can make the ending of this whatever I want, and it doesn't have to be exciting. Um, we can let the excitement happen a little more organically. Um, the more that I play, and let this one just be the, the cool, chill series that it's been. And I'm wandering. And I'm, I'm done wandering. And I'm ready to wrap it up. And, uh... I need to check a map here soon. Um... And kind of why are you putting so much undue pressure on yourself? Um all of a sudden have an exciting end of the series when the majority of the series has just been very average and humdrum and uh, boring or relaxing depending on how you paint it um that looks like a, a truck you could drive down there I'm really worried about it um so in the interest of getting this thing wrapped up and kind of pushing against a play style that I don't gravitate towards nat naturally, I was just running a, a PvP gauntlet uh, for no good reason uh, other than PvP. And not because I'm, I'm looking for anything or I need stuff, uh, but to, just to go out with a bang more or less. So what I've decided so I'm just going to make my way back down to the coast. And I'm going to find a fresh spawn. And I'm going to try to give them all my gear. And if we get killed in that pursuit, then that'll end the episode. And if we don't get killed in that pursuit, um, there'll be a fresh spawn that's going to have a, a decent day. And we'll have a ending to a series that's a little bit more befitting 
uh, of the spirit of the series and honestly the spirit of how I like to play the game and I kind of wish I would have thought about it sooner because then I wouldn't have been spending some time over the past week beating myself up that I didn't quite know what I was going to be doing with the series so that's what we're going to do I think I probably just rambled for a right long time and <laughs> uh, set the timer for 40 minutes because I forgot so no oh, did I burn did I burn the battery oh wait I put the battery in my headlamp okay so I didn't burn the battery out So that's what we're going to do. We very well could be this geared up, go into the start of town, and somebody shoots us and gets their comeuppance and feels really good. Yeah, you know. Uh, but that'll, that'll be something, you know. You know you'll find somebody near the coastal towns, you know. So... That's what we're doing now, and depending on how long that takes, that could be this episode, or it could be the next episode. Um, so we're we're working towards a denouement here, and uh, yeah, appreciate everybody who's uh, hopped in the channel to hang out for this adventure, and all the words of encouragement, and. Uh, some of the people I've got to have some good conversations with and leaving comments and all. It's been uh, it's been really fun, and I really appreciate it. Um, I'm working boots. So another thing that's been happening is uh, the I use a pretty cheap entry level video editor because up until this series, um, all I've really liked to do is put together highlight montage videos that I'm, I turn into music videos and mess around with that and. Uh, And it's been good enough for that because I didn't, I was not putting videos out with any sort of regularity. And an issue with the video editor that I've had since I started using it is it crashes on render very frequently. And this is across a couple different computers and probably three years of using it, four years of using it. And it's just been an issue that it's had. And... It doesn't, most of the time, it does not crash towards the beginning of a video render. It crashes towards the end. So I've had nights on while I'm trying to uh, push this series out at the pace that I wanted to push it out uh, to where th what should have been a 30, 40 minute render it took me three and a half, four hours because it would get to 25 minutes, 28 minutes, 32 minutes of a 34 minute render. 
sometimes and it just stopped rendering and as soon as you interact with the um, with the rendering screen it would it would crash to desktop you know unresponding program and uh, that just is really frustrating but and it's it made me start researching other video editors and so after I conclude this series I'm gonna start learning um, DaVinci Resolve which I think is gonna be plenty for my purposes oh yeah that's uh they started the Halloween event so the, the castles are covered in fog the mummies are back um, I didn't want to do that in the middle of this series because um, there's probably going to be a bit of a learning curve while I learn how to use a new piece of software. Like I'm <clears throat> very much an amateur video editor and I am also very much, um, it's, it's difficult for me to, to focus on learning stuff like that. Um, over here. So I expect there to be some some time to wear. You know, I had my my flow on this series done up really good. I mean it made it super easy because it's not edited hardly at all I, I chop off a little bit of the beginning while I'm loading into the server and put my, my little intro song on there and you know I basically just import the last video uh, into slap the outro on there and it's good to go um, so I could put together these videos in about 20 minutes, you know, it's just the rendering was holding me up. And, um, but that also came with, you know, just in the mic levels and, you know, you know, all that stuff that, um, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, You know, I knew exactly how to get to everything in the program that I use. And it's a dumbed down program. A Steam edition. I got off of Steam. And, uh... I just think it's time. I really do enjoy editing videos. And, you know... Putting together stuff from my family. And uh, if I get inspired creative, it's a good creative outlet. And, um... Plus, I like sharing, posting to YouTube. So, anyway, um, I just think it's time to upgrade, but recognize that I can't put out videos on a every other day pace for something that I don't know how to use. So, after this series is over and before 1.23 drops, I'm going to be getting uh, resolve and, and working to learn that well enough to where right around the time 1.23 drops. I'll be ready to start another series. Oh, oh no. Oh shit. I don't want to tangle with a mummy right now. This fool's gonna follow me around. I didn't realize we were coming up on some, uh, on some whatnot. So yeah, that's something else that's uh, 
that I'll be working on. So after this series wraps up, I'm probably going to be going radio silent for a couple, three weeks um, while I transition over to DaVinci. And, um, and then two, um, this past weekend, I picked up, um, Scum, the game. And I've been, I put a good bit of time in on that this past weekend with my buddy Mitch. And it seems similar enough in concept to where I think that's something that I would like to include on my channel. Um, but the difference in focus on crafting and um, how there's some semi persistence in your character. So long as you don't die too quick uh, without re replenishing your respawn money, basically. Um, I, I think there's portions of that game that are... That I don't know how to play that game well enough to just have... I don't think um, a mostly unedited series of Scum would be quite as interesting as DayZ. Because it's just not quite as... Um, it's immersive in different ways and there's a lot to really like about scum uh, and, and what I've seen so far um, so as I learned that and um, I've been starting to get some beginner footage of that and just playing with different ways how to put that together into more entertaining chunks and how to how to deliver scum content in a way that I feel is kind of my own and um, intriguing at the same time without you know sitting around and having to watch me dig through a bunch of menus and craft stone knives for the hundredth time so that's something else in the future um, you can expect here in the near future I would say so I think that'll be a good little Oh, sorry, I readjusted my seat. Uh, I think that would be a good addition to the channel and games I like to play. Plus, um, my good buddy that I game with quite a bit on this channel is a lot more apt to play Scum right now than he is DayZ, so um, it's nice to have the, the potential of a duo series there. And I think that's about it. Um, I wanted to film this episode uh, a couple days ago. I've had um, I've had some things pop up in my personal life that's put uh, gaming on the on the back burner for a couple days this week. Um, so I'd really kind of hope to get this out in sequence with the with the pace I've been doing it, it just, just didn't happen. So, um, other than that, I'm, I'm excited to conclude the series. Um, I do have another Daisy character that I, that I play some adventures on, um, that I haven't been recording footage for and um, just playing around with that and doing different things and i am uh, been looking forward to the conclusion of this series for a bit now just so I can try some different themes and um, gaming experiences uh, boy they're not gonna leave us alone are they Was awful far off though. Wonder if that was on somebody else. Oh, OK. 
Okay. This is, uh... This is Pushtoshka, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna say these wolves probably spawn on somebody else. That time, I was actually far enough away for me to believe that. Uh, there's a mummy. Supervision. running through this town. Mega Cavalier right now. You know, this is not the least traveled town. That's alright, we got places to be. Man, it just feels... around with a certain energy when it's all expendable. Just learned I probably didn't need to pop that stem for that first zombie, I wasn't sure how fast they ran, but it seems like the trade-off for them being so beastly is they run slow and lose aggro pretty quick. I'm not 100% sure I've ever ran south this way before because of how open this is. I always stick to the tree lines. This reminds me more of, uh, shoot, it's even more wide open than Livonia here. I mean, this is kind of crazy. I feel super good about this playthrough, man. I, you know, said all that at the beginning of the episode, but... I am uh, I am pleasantly surprised by how this turned out, and it's by far been my best run on day Z yet, and um, I'm glad that I got to capture that, and uh, so we did did pretty good this this playthrough. Um, got a lot of 
a lot of good feedback. I mean, I've got a lot of good tips and advice in the comments, and I think will end up making me a better player overall long term. And we got all kinds of gear and guns I've never had before, and uh, engagements I've never had before. Been uh, been quite the life. I'm super excited for the new skyboxes. The, um, the gameplay I've watched from the experimental server during the rain. Oh man, it looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Man, I, um, I've heard about, you know, I've read where people have done this before, and it's, uh, as far as going to give a, a freshie a, an in-game kit, um, I think it's a super cool idea, but it always makes me think, like, you imagine how stressful that is all of a sudden, like, you're like a fresh spawn of some fucking juiced up dude. Rolls up. Man. It's like, hey, bro. Yeah, you want some loot? And you're like, yeah, because why not? And, uh. I don't think I want to go close to there. But then all of a sudden, you're like in Cherno or Berenzino. <laughs> on the coast somewhere loaded to the gills and uh, then you gotta get out <laughs> it's like oh man maybe maybe you didn't sign up for that shit that day but you don't want to turn it down it's like right now in the rain like if if I make it to where I give it to somebody it's gonna be all saturated with water Dude's gonna have quarter stamina. <laughs> like, might just be giving him a whole bunch of problems. It's all good. Oh yeah, never got the VSD mags looking everywhere. But that's been a uh that's been a fun little side quest to have and at least I got to run around with it on my back a little bit. I guess if I had decided that I wanted to top load it, I could have. But I didn't.
shit, got a helicopter crash over there. brain for me right now is being like go check out that helicopter you might can find some some VSD mags like you've been looking for and uh um, I don't want to I really want to give this gear to somebody <laughs> I don't want to get bogged down right now and right now I've went from I've, I've went and I like that word I have went from uh Wanting to run tier four uh, towns and Northwest Airfield, and, you know, hoping to get gunfights. And now I'm, I don't want I don't want any of that at all now. And I think that's important, and I think that probably happens with a lot of people that end up uh, creating content for consumption, uh, be it music or art, or, you know, literature. Um, when you're doing it for yourself and you just think it's going to be you and maybe your closest friend's doing it, you don't put any external pressure on the process. You just write how you're going to write or play how you're going to play. And that, that that's just it, you know. But uh, once you put it out there for the public, there starts to be a little bit of a... Uh, pressure even if it, it doesn't mean necessarily anything right now it's not like I do this for a living or I have a paycheck dependent on it but you figure people are spending part of their day um, with your content or on your channel or and um, it just gives it a little bit of a it gives you some pressure to always have so and I think that ends up if you don't recognize that as pressure and understanding your uh, your 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 fan base or why why people started coming to you in the first place, it can be really easy to lose sight of uh, you know whatever the natural is that you would like to be playing or or making content or whatever. And end up getting to be somewhere, someone that you're not, creatively. So I feel like, you know, I was in the process of making that. I have never sat down with this game and said, "Let me just find PVP. I'm going to go find PVP." PVP is always the catalyst to the to the excitement in the game. So why start now? It is kind of cool that uh, it seems like I'm retracing my steps to a to a certain degree. It's like taking the victory lap. Well, I know if somebody catches us out in the open, there ain't gonna be a whole lot we can do about it right now. That's pathetic. Look how hard it's raining.
should do a series where I'm messing around all the Halloween content, but last year I just, you know, Halloween content doesn't do much for me in this game. I like the witch's hood. Uh, it's neat seeing the lights of the mummies and, you know, I think, it, I think it's neat, but typically just not been big on events like that in games. You can't hardly see anything. about time to hop in a tree and get a little bit more information about our environment. So we're getting there. We are getting there. And that don't take long at all if you're not playing around, you know. It really doesn't. right there. Okay. So one thing I do need to do, let's get up in here real quick. I know that caps lock is to talk. Two is the wave. F1 is high. Um, so down. Okay. Got it. All right. So we'll put this on on the left. Head on down. We got five minutes left in the episode. We're this close, though. 
we'll say this is going to be the finale episode and just run it for super long. Well, I say super long, but a lot longer than I normally do. Um, assuming I come across anybody um, in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, I don't want to upload a two hour long episode, but I'll, uh, I'll cut them in half if it comes down to that and release them at the same time. Got these linemen and landmines I didn't use. It's all tools. You don't always have to use all the tools. You know, I was getting ready to think about popping in a in a bush and uh wringing my clothes out, but it's just gonna rain this whole day. See if there's any uh anywhere out of the way that I can hang out around the well in Cherno. Go ahead and get us one more slug of water. Can't see nothing with this uh, canteen in front of your face. This is starting to be close enough to the, the starter town, the coast, that uh, I'd be willing to start, we'll start looking for people. Oh shit, look at you. Well, there's some witches hoods. 
I like those. That's a, that's a clothing item. I was looking at um, Wobo's video about the update. I thought it was cool that they made it to where you could combine that with the, the chainmail uh, helmet or whatever it is. I love this game. It's like I, 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 should, I played a good bit of scum this weekend, and in a lot of ways, terrain's more varied, and there's there's more biomes and interesting things to look at, but just none of them look as true to life and gritty and overall immersive. Because this game just really has a special mix going on for it. be marginally easier for me to understand where I'm at if it was not raining this way. Now that looks like a building for sure. comes the, the moment of truth at some point in time up here and I have to start seeing if you no know, good deed goes unpunished thing I've never done and I just can't see myself doing is coming down here this fucking gear to shoot freshies I don't get that buildings like this. I wish there was a little bit more reason to go up in them, but I'm thinking one of my uh, one of my playthroughs, I'd like to pick one of these buildings and make a base in it because I've never really messed with that much. And um, But then at the same time, I'm trying to figure out how you go about making a series where you have a base and you don't end up showing a bunch of people where your base is. Like 
music on uh, on YouTube. You know, I don't think I, I play enough to get that far ahead in content. These are popular storage containers for a new spawn. I remember the first time I loaded DayZ up uh, the standalone. I hadn't played the mod since 2012, 2013. I'd spent a couple years just watching DayZ content on YouTube before finally deciding to pick it up on sale. And I spawned in Cherno. And I remember coming up. This was one of the first places I made it to. It took me so long to get there. I was terrified. You right there to start, you know, in, in a spawn town where you, you shouldn't care much. Absolutely terrified. I remember a truck had spawned down at the well that's on the east side of town. Somebody had hopped in it, was driving. I like booked it into the woods. <laughs> like, another thing about DayZ versus other games there's a lot of games that I played where I remember some some highlights about them or some aspects of a playthrough but I think DayZ puts your headspace in a in a place to where you retain that you know and better than other games and I end up you know remembering a whole lot about a lot of my lives and how one you know this run over here went how it ended and that one and you know the emotions involved I'll go up here to this little military tent area
zombies around. That's one thing. remember let's see I think I gotta go this way to get to where the one the, the wreck building is rather. That's a little trick I learned here recently. Slow crawling through those things. Also wish that YouTube didn't make it such a pain in the butt to where you could include licensed music in your videos without going through a whole bunch of shit. Like how they do with um the shorts. Like why can't they just put it, you know? Cause I would really like um Okay, here we go. I know where we're at now. I'd like to end this out with something special and I'm just probably not going to do it. You're going to believe me about the state that these servers have been, been in, the server and me trying to play when it's populated if we run through Cherno here and don't see any new spawns. Like I just couldn't wait anymore. I 
shit, I might need to scrounge around for some things to eat if I'm going to have to hang out here for a while. See, like all these doors are shut. I think there was 10 people on when I logged in earlier. Yeah, look at all, I mean. I'm just trying to scrounge up a little food since I'm in the yellow. And I might end up needing to hang out here for a good little while. I guess I could server, server hop. But I don't really know of any other vanilla Chinar server community. station. I don't think I realized that was right there. Maybe I did. Yeah, I did. Some doors open.
maybe we will just be walking the coast for a little while after all. I guess I could just leave it all in a pile around this, but that's not really what I want to do. Still all good. Nobody's been through here. Not they spent much time looting anyway. I see some doors open. I think some. It's random. They spawn open or closed. was looted. Give me another bleed. Seriously. Come down here, get killed by uh, zombies in the starter town. Here, I need a little bit of a... Uh... Get some of the, the water out of these. That's the only thing, only two things I can squeeze out really. for uh um zombies uh, go ahead and sharpen this up I'll use this over the brass knuckles and maybe we won't have to uh hit them so many times
looks like we're going to be taking a trip up the coast. Anyway. Jacket was starting to look a little beat on. Well, you know what? Another thing I need to do is learn how to throw a grenade. I think you throw with the G. Practice with the flashbang first. Unpin. Oh. Did that with a flashbang. I ruined my clothes or anything. Oh, okay. Alright, so I guess you need to pull the pin and I wonder how you cook cook a flashbang. You probably can't cook a flashbang. first started this series and my first character had that screwdriver and I couldn't get a stealth kill to save my life for some reason. That little brisket didn't do much for my health, did it? they were working on over there that's bold either that or they were just trolling or something So it's been who knows how long. I'm gonna pop in here and restart the episode lest something happen like my computer crashes. Or something. Alright, so thanks for watching and part two of this series or this episode um, coming right up. Thanks for watching. <laughs>